Alright guys, so, I promised a Cascade review. Um, I didn't think I'd get home so late, so, you know, here I am doing it at fucking 1230 because I'm a dumbass, but, you know, whatever, right? So, Cascade's uh, really, really simple, I'm gonna be honest. It's, it's, there's one primary area of the map that you're, like, really, you know, setting yourself up at, and everything else is kind of, oh, I'm just going A to B, you know, whatever. Uh, rollout uh, is simple, right? It's pretty simple, you just come out, you get whipped. Um, different teams like to go in different areas, right, you know, uh, just, you know, kind of be a, a little bit of a sheep and just follow the group, right, you don't have to go one location or the other, just go wherever your team's going, you know, if you guys are all coming out here to the left, then just come out all, all the way without left with your team, um, a good tech if you're going to come out here to the left or the right is, uh, you know, make sure to sandwich replace, just do that quickly, right, um, you know, because you never know. That, that might save your medic's life, save a scout's life. It means someone who's low health doesn't need to get beamed or arrowed. Same exact deal if you're coming out here on the right. Uh, you might not want to because you do have to go out of your way. So if you really want to focus on speed, just ignore it. But if not, you know, it's just it's a quick detour. Um, either way, the 90% of Cascade and what you're wanting to do, that over there is going out of focus, um, is trying to play under. And I don't mean trying to play under and always being here. I just mean you're controlling the space so that players don't get flanked and that you can flank players. Um, so on these mid fights, I honestly like to sometimes just do this. And when you just sit here, I'm going to lower the volume so it's not so loud. When you just sit here, even if you just sit here the whole time, it means that anyone who tries to aggress on your demo or medic right they just instantly get popped um, you can't get spammed from up there or at least you can but you I mean now your sword is doing suboptimal damage right so it's it's a fine trade off and you can fight anybody who quickly tries to do a flank right um, if you're going to if your plan is to stay up here i'd recommend tommy slav cuz if you're just always red like this they're going to know you're here all the time and you're just going to get beaten out by the minigun especially cuz uh them doing this right is much easier than you having to flick all the way down, right? Especially if you're Duster Dan and your uh, sensitivity is fucking infinite, right? Jesus Christ. So, it's much harder, right? It's much harder. Um, realistically, though, you're probably not going to be just doing that. You might do it for a couple seconds. You might do it if you want your buff, right? Um, you know, if, you know, if you if you think the soldier's going to bomb over your head or something. Um, most of the time, you're probably just going to be straight up fighting this. Right, this is better for Tommy Slav if you're gonna be fighting like this, because it might be an engineer going all the way left. Right, you might randomly. You, uh, if no one's in here, you want to just you know, give a quick spray, make sure spy's not in here. Um, and if no one's around here, no one's contesting you, or you won the fight, the pack is free, and always spy check yourself. Right, as you're crossing here, because spies love to get on you. There's waterfalls down here, so it's really loud. It's kind of hard to hear him. Um, and now you're playing to get up in here. Right, and I personally like to play on this right side. I peek this wall, and I stay right. And I do this because I want to kill anybody who's over here without exposing myself. And then once I've cleared this, right, make sure no one's on my head, then I peek out here, go for the head glitch. Um, it might be useful that once you clear all of this, then you start holding W and Distract, or I guess S in this case, and peek it like this. Because this is an extreme angle, and it's just it's hard for your eyes to sort of process information like this. It's much easier to kind of slow it down and do that. Um, it's also easier to track someone who's in your face, who's back here, right? Because they don't want to drop down, right? No one wants to drop down like this to fight a heavy. Um, and that's the gist of it. If you're able to fight through under, right, or maybe they just have zero resistance to it, you do this awesome flank, you clear this space out. And you just, you do so much fucking damage. You literally insta-wipe their team if they're not looking out for you. You're probably not going to be able to do that flank every single life. But you're preventing them from doing it by fighting that angle at the same time. If, let's say you kill two people on this under, right? Maybe you kill an engineer and you get really lucky and kill one more person or whatever. Or even just like a, the, the other heavy. You, you have the option to either continue pushing forward and fight that angle I'm talking about. Or back up to here and play the team fight up here. Um, I'd say that's if their heavy dies down there, because um, now they've they've they're essentially too scared to go down here since they lost the man count, and playing up here is much safer for you and gives more value. You know, it's it's a more it's a forced multiplier to this push up here. Um, it's not 
worth it as much to be the one peeking at the point because this is low ground for this is bad low ground because you aren't close to the edge right so let's say someone's right you know right where i am for example you're only shooting them for half their body since they're covered by the the fact that this is like natural cover so you're doing less damage you essentially force yourself on tomislav right so you know there's just less choice there um and it's really easy. People do more damage to you from across this point than you do to them. And this goes for every single angle, whether it be on the right side, the middle, or the left. The left is at least safe in that you can peek this without sniper shooting your head off. And the other, and you can't get spammed from up here. If you're here, you can get spammed from up top. You're in the worst sniper position on the man, and you lose fights in the middle. From here. You lose fights from both of these angles. You actually, you're exposed. You're not as exposed to bats anymore, but now you're exposed to two more angles, right? And it's not your invincible to bats. So there can still be some of the bats. And if a soldier just corner picks you here, you are like useless. So if you're gonna be up here, I'd say probably play to this side. You know, this corner of the map is probably what you want to be doing. Um, so just stick to the left, really. <laughs> But I mean, it's a uh, this this uh, this map is mirrored, right? So it's the left regardless. Right? It doesn't really matter. Um, if you're gonna be on point for your hold instead of just being under, because honestly, it's viable that when you guys are holding to just do this, right? Maybe not the best, but it's like viable. Um, most heavies like to just stand up here. And so you have vision on these two angles, and if Sniper starts peeking you over here, then you can quickly block every angle. And what you're doing is you, you're essentially daring the enemy team to peek you. Like, let's say they start walking out of mid here, um, then you can, you know, just do really nice damage to them, right? It's better if you're on Tomislav. Um, and then the same thing, if they come out to the left, and you're just, right, it's free damage for, for you. You will be getting spammed. If you're in this location... Um, and you're not 450 health, you need to ask your medic to 450 you. It's it's nearly crucial. All right? It's a huge boost in power. Um, I'm going to be honest, that's honestly it. Uh, the entirety of house does not matter to you very much. Um, you know, no, let me talk about, let me talk about uh, uh, fucking waterfall. Waterfall is somewhat important. As a mix-up in a mid-fight or in a team fight where you guys are even, it's or no, not even. You guys have advantage, or you, yeah, you, you guys need advantage for this, really. Um, it's completely viable to come down here and just. I, I wouldn't stay up here and poke because the angles suck here. I would just immediately drop down. Don't do this, okay? Don't just jump off and then rev. I need you to stay on the left here, rev up, and then fully drop down, right? Because remember, remember, class. Um, you have a rev up penalty, so if you do that, you will lose almost every fight. Unless you get the drop on someone, which you might not. Um, as long as you have been revved up for a full second, you do full damage and you have full accuracy. So if you're not aware of this, the first full second, you do half damage and half accuracy. That's why it feels impossible to kill the scout when you get surprised. Right? Not even just because you're unrevved, but because once you do rev, you do so little damage. Like you can see the accuracy. Well, not, not so much, maybe. but Yeah, I mean, I have low decal, so it's not going to show up very well. But you see, yeah, you can kind of tell it tightens up a tiny bit, as well as damage. Um, I think that's it. Honestly, this is the beginning of Cascade. Um, if this is the beginning of Cascade for you, that's really all you need to know. I will say this. If in the future um, we use daytime Cascade for RGL, or if it's something you're interested in, this becomes less viable because uh, it's much more spread out. The reason why nighttime Cascade is used for the season is it, I think it's a little bit more it's a little bit better for competitive play whereas daytime cascade is much more suited for 12v12 or 12v12 chaos right because you know cascade kind of stink when it was daytime in rgl and i really like nighttime cascade because it's just it's a lot tighter it's a lot snappier um that's it i'm just gonna end video i'm gonna i'll upload it right now i'm not gonna add anything i there's no like, huge mistakes thanks